So my thoughts on the presidential debates. Most media outlets, well, actually, in fact, all media outlets are saying that Trump lost. But then again, almost every single media outlet is only fact-checking Donald Trump. I haven't seen a major newspaper fact-checking Kamala Harris, which means that she's probably one of the only politicians in the history of mankind that doesn't lie. Like, the Americans and the Democratic Party have finally invented the super politician. The one that uh, doesn't tell a lie, probably like Abraham Lincoln, like he was famous for that. So uh, we should call her Honest Kamala. Uh, on the internet, there is controversy surrounding her. Apparently, the types of earrings that she uses. Uh, some people suggested that uh, there are similar earrings that uh, allow for transmissions to happen. Uh, which would probably explain, I mean, if you have people whispering stuff in your ear and they are connected to the internet, then you would never make a mistake, then, then you would never say something that's not true. Uh, the other criticism uh, that people had towards this is that the moderator was only fact-checking Trump and they were never fact-checking Kamala. And again, the cope is in on social media. It's like, well, obviously, because Trump lies. Which, again, like, I assume that every single politician lies, but then there is a country on Earth, the United States, which has a political party that is capable of producing the only politician in mankind history that doesn't lie. So uh, what are the lies that Donald Trump says? Because the media constantly enjoys reminding us. Uh, the first one has to be with uh, eating pets. So there's a situation in America where a town, a rural town in Ohio, received a lot of immigrants overnight. Uh, apparently, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, the immigration only happens in big cities, so if you want to uh, not enjoy the strength that that uh, rich, pure American diversity offers, you can just move in a small rural area. Uh, but apparently, that isn't the case anymore because we noticed in the United Kingdom and we now notice in the United States, it's like small towns, all of a sudden... Uh, the buses start coming and uh, the demographics change overnight. So obviously there's a different culture. Uh, the new people have to adjust and adapt to the newcomers. And one of the things that is uh, being pushed on social media is that the people coming from Haiti are eating pets. Uh, well, the thing is, I, I looked into it and there does seem to be an actual video evidence of a black person, a black woman, that's being arrested by the cops uh, because she allegedly ate a person's cat. And there's other video with, uh, evidence with a man holding a geese by her throat. Uh, th now, what's interesting is that before any fact checker arrived on the scene, before the media even weighed in on it, uh, a lot of liberal and left-leaning people were saying, well, yeah, but like, geese are a pest, so therefore... Even if it was to happen, that's a good thing, right? But then they realized, no, hold on a little bit. Like, the fact-checkers waited, so we don't really have to defend this because it never happened. So we will pretend it would be outrageous if it did happen, but uh, you know, we're going to accuse people who are pushing it for misinformation. So what was the fact-check? Well, apparently the fact-check is that the woman that's getting arrested uh, is actually an American. Like, she's not from Haiti. She's actually an American, uh, possibly with some mental issues. Uh, and... That's the thing that people are now pushing as a conspiracy theory, right? Like everyone is conspiring uh, that pets are being uh, eaten in Ohio. Uh, but the problem is that there are other residents that don't have video footage, uh, but they have recorded themselves on TikTok and various other platforms saying that, yeah, like their pets are missing or their neighbors had chickens in the yard and now they don't. So basically, you have a couple of people that are claiming this is happening without showing video evidence. So are they all Republican operatives? Are, are they all hidden Donald Trump supporters that were waiting for this particular moment in order to start recording TikTok videos on social media? Are they paid crisis actors? I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that this is what caused the rumor to spread. And this is why Trump and his running mate is claiming it. Whether it's true or not, I mean, you go on social media and you see a lot of people from uh, Ohio saying that it's true, while uh, you have the press saying that there's no evidence, and the authorities are also saying that they haven't arrested anyone over this. 
But again, we need to rely on the fact checkers because nothing is more honest on this planet Earth than the fact checkers. We know they have absolutely no political leanings. They, they have no uh, horse in this race. They, they have uh, no interest in whether Kamala or Trump wins. And they also don't care what the American uh, thinks. The only thing that they do care about is the truth. And they're going to factually report on it. Now, the second one is about the abortions. Apparently, uh, Donald Trump uh, was claiming that uh, there are cases where even after the baby has been born, uh, there have been performed abortions. And the media is claiming, and rightfully so, that that would be illegal. Anywhere in the United States, if that were to happen, it would be classified as infanticide. That is actually a crime. But why do American people believe this? Like, why are they willing to listen to such a thing and say, I mean, well, I, I suppose it is possible. Because if a politician would say this in Romania, you wouldn't need any fact checkers. Like, the moment that word would come out of his mouth, people would be bewildered. Uh, the reasoning is that there are, indeed, Democrat politicians that have suggested this in the past. And there are also certain studies that have flirted with the idea when it comes to medical ethics. Now, now when it comes to medical ethics, you need to understand uh, certain university professors and doctors, uh, they need to publish papers, so they will write some sort of garbage so that a journal publishes it. Uh, and, and there have been doctors flirting with the idea that since the human brain doesn't develop up until two years, that maybe it should be considered ethical. But, but these are only theories that, uh, you know, certain people are flirting with, that they're not passed into legislation. And then there's also uh, a Democrat politician that I remember on a radio show going viral a couple of years ago, uh, saying that, well, after the baby is born, the doctor should uh, place him and, and make him feel comfortable while talking uh, with the mother about what to do next, right? So, like, implying the thing. But again, like no one that I have seen has ever suggested legislation that after the baby is born, uh, you, you can create an abortion. Like, no, that, that is something that's a little bit too extreme even for Americans. Like there is a line, apparently. However, there have been laws suggested that I don't know if they passed or not. Uh, written by certain activists that I have to wonder if their mental faculties are in order, but they did suggest that in the case where the mental health of the mother is at risk, then even uh, up until birth, right? So up until the baby leaves the birth canal, so even if the contraction happened, uh, an abortion should be able to take place. The most extreme example that I could find and obviously, it was heavily criticized due to this. Uh, obviously, the people that drafted the legislation came under scrutiny for this. But I don't think like this actually passed. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But, but my point is that the reason Americans are willing to believe this is that the culture has flirted with these ideas before. Like, it, it was in, in the public mind. The, the people have been primed uh, for these types of uh, rhetorics. Uh, which, again, if, if they were to happen in Romania, everyone would be bewildered the moment that they would come out of a politician's mouth. Like, people would be like, what? Wait, hold on a little bit. That's that's a little bit too much. So, as you can see, uh, most of the, uh, the newspapers are uh, focusing on this, and they're saying that Harris uh, has uh, baited Trump uh, as he lost control and spiraled out and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, th this was pretty much how the debate went. Uh, either than that, Trump did the meme with, like, uh, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. <laughs> like, that That was absolutely hilarious and funny. Um, I don't know if it managed to sway any voters, uh, but if it did, it's probably not going to be on the side of Trump. Again, I'm telling you this uh, from going around into many circles, because uh, I do try to get my information from... Uh, places that are right-wing, places that are left-leaning, and places that are more apolitical. And it does seem that in the apolitical places, uh, a lot of people were on the side of Kabbalah. I take into account that they're also more likely to read the press and be influenced by these types of articles. So let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.